All right, 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 all right. So we're back with another career simulation. Last Chris I did was Christopher London. And well, uh, this one guy that he stuck around for a pretty long time and kind of moved into a house together with a couple years ago, forming this kind of popular group now called Two Hype. Jesser the Laser, or just Jesser, but I had to put something on his last name. Six foot three shooting guard slash point guard. I, I don't know why it says from Wisconsin. I keep putting it as California and it keeps editing it. So I'll edit it again in a minute. He's the third ranked player in the NBA draft in Draft Express his ranks he's six foot three 21 years old because well he's 20 years old right now but his birthday's in like four days or something like that so uh, early happy birthday to him and he averaged 31 points a game in college so uh, he should be pretty good i made his player pretty accurate compared to what he is in real life but uh first before we look over any of that stuff let's see where this kid gets drafted oh yeah and by the way obviously the one different thing with this one in case you didn't realize is that it's his actual age not his age when he started youtube because he was like what 13 dude is young as all hell and just bought like a i don't know how many square foot mansion and it's, it's big. So, with the first pick in the NBA draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves, they, they took Anthony Edwards. He gets picked first like every single time, which uh, might happen in the real draft too. The second pick in the draft, the Detroit Pistons take LaMelo Ball. All right, now, now we're into the range. You know, he was ranked number three. Are the Hawks going to take him? We're going to have back-to-back Hawks. -back no, we're, we're not going to have back-to-back -back Hawks. So, Cole Anthony goes third. The fourth pick, the Knicks are on the clock. And the Knicks picked RJ Hampton. Okay, Jesser falls a little bit further. The fifth pick now, the Golden State Warriors. They they take James Wiseman, who would be the perfect pick for them. So I'm not really mad. Now we're back at six. Now look, we might have another player go to the Chicago. The Chicago Bulls are on the clock, and the Bulls pick up Jesser with the sixth pick in the draft. Well, that's all we needed to see. So here's a look at his stats. They predict he's going to be Jamal Crawford. Wait, wait, wait. Jamal Crawford's a six man. Why does it say starter? He's a 78 overall. He's kind of right down the middle in comparison to you know all the guys we've done career sims on. His athleticism is kind of well, you know what you would expect if Jesser was in the NBA. But specifically though, most of the stuff that you know he's pretty good at in actual real life like his three-point shots and his, even his post fade is all in like the 70s and they'll develop over time you know you know that's what happens when nba players get into the league the only badger game hall of fame as of right now is space creator because uh, he's not really the quickest guy but he seems to always make space for shots i just remembered like six years later which yes this means that i edited this into the beginning that i never showed his jump shot so here it is um you know he's had a pretty simple release so it wasn't too hard to make this but i mean it, it's a, it's a nice looking release he could be a good shooter in this league you know so yeah that's what we're working with so he's gonna be well he's gonna be the backup shooter shooting guard for the Bulls because this guy Zach Levine exists. I'm pretty sure he likes number 10. He wore it in the two hype game, but I gave him it and it's retired. So he's going to be number nine, which is uh, the number that Jordan wore in the Olympics. So uh, replicate that. Season number one. All-star captains. Look, it's year number one. I don't expect anything. Hassan Whiteside and Yusuf Nurkic made the all-star team. What the hell is this? Giannis won MVP. James Wiseman rookie of the year. So that means uh, Jesser was snubbed. Oh, wow. Jesser uh, averaged 18.7 points per game off the bench. 40% from three too. So, uh, okay. Well, he made the all rookie first team and we're not in the playoffs. We were actually like eight games over 500 and then just lost every game for the rest of the season. That's cool. Shout out to the Nets. Tyson Chandler retired. We drafted Scotty Barnes. Thankfully, he's not the same position as Jesser. And we signed Julius Randle. For what reason? Well, uh, I don't know. You tell me. Jesser's a 79 overall, 22 years old, going into season number two. He's the eighth man in the rotation now because uh, we just signed a bunch more big men. Can eighth man Jesser be an all-star? You know, the answer that we could have known without even looking it is no zion made the all-star team bleach report is somewhere salivating this team just goes on random 18 game losing streaks and then wins eight games and then just doesn't make the playoffs Giannis is on the spurs i feel like he always ends up on the spurs or the suns or the bulls because that's happened too shout out to mo bamba that's true i guess we gotta watch out for jester winning the sixth man of the year too oh hey kenny i got some i got some news to break to you man no all anything he averaged 14 points three three 43 percent uh, he did all right he did a lot worse than last year but i mean it's whatever and uh, what did you expect we missed the playoffs we won 35 games i mean for god's sake we're starting lance stevenson at small forward joel mb got a finals mvp amir johnson retired what the hell happened to that guy jess is an 80 overall now going to your number three he's like the eighth best player on the team right now so uh that that's cool maybe this team could actually be good and not miss the playoffs again i don't know oh my wait what we we drafted Bronny and he's not in the rotate yeah I, I quit i quit it's also great that we drafted another shooting guard man if he's gonna be around for you for a while let me just save him now we're gonna make him a small forward slash shooting guard because uh, I'm not trying to be, you know, I mean, just held back by Bronny for 10 years and Levine at that. So Jess is going to play starting small forward now at six foot three. I'm pretty sure Norman Powell did that for like a whole year anyways. So uh, can starting small forward Jesser lead this team to, uh, you know, something better than 35 wins? Watch you win 36 games now that I said that. What did I say? Well, Giannis won MVP. Bol Bol won six man of the year, which is going to happen for the next 12 years, considering that they always just
just move him to the bench for no reason, even though he's the greatest player of all time. Wasn't Mac McClung the dude that was like really good in high school? Didn't we just take it for granted that he wouldn't make it to the NBA? Shout out to Julian Newman on that note. No all anything. And uh, like I like I said, we, we won 36 games for God's sake. Thankfully though, Jesser's sacrifice to small forward did allow LeBron James' son to get into the rotation because I don't know what the hell that decision was to, you know, not put him in there in the first place. Jesser averaged 19 points on 45%. That's pretty good. Ben Simmons won a fight. Wow, the Sixers are that good. They got back to back. I know Carmelo's from Baltimore, but no way in hell he's ever going to the Wizards. DJ Augustine retired. Jess is an 83 overall. He's now defined as a scoring machine, so that's cool. Season number four. 31 minutes a game. Uh, don't know who the hell Evan Holmes. Oh, he was the first pick. Oh, that, that makes sense. Wait, how the hell did we get the first pick? Must have been really lucky in the lottery. We got Bronny and that guy back to back years. Thankfully, we're not lucky enough to win games. And Jess are making all star team in year four? No, the answer is no. I mean, he's averaging 19 on 50%. So Giannis is good. In case you didn't expect this, no all NBA anything just yet. And we're the fifth seed. We won 45 games. Look at this. He averaged 18 points, 40% from three, 47 from the field. Good enough for me. First round against Brooklyn, who just won a championship a couple years. Oh, oh okay. Sure. Why not? Sweep him. That's cool too. Well, the Sixers have won back-to-back -back championships. So uh, yeah, this, this, isn't, this isn't pretty. We got swept. Jester averaged 14 points. Oh God, he kind of fell off in the playoffs. Hopefully uh, doesn't do this ever again, please. You still all right. Well, the Hawks got a ring. So Jesser has re-signed with the Bulls on a five-year, $165 million deal. He's made a lot of money on YouTube, I can assure you, but um, I, I don't think this much. 85 overall going to season number, what is this, five? Yeah, five. I forgot to change his location from Wisconsin all these years. Why do we have so many 80 overalls? There, I put him from California. Hallelujah. So they're starting Jesser and Bronny now. Put Levine at a 91 overall on the bench. Cool with me. He'll probably be a good six man. Not like it matters if it's not cool with me. It's not like I could do anything. Thing. So is Jesser going to be an all-star this year? No, the answer is no. Probably we have 86 different options to score. And even with all that, we're still only 24 and 24. There goes Giannis again. Who the hell is this guy? Obviously still no all-NBA anything. We're the seven seed. Put up, you know, a cool 18 on 49%. I mean, he's an 87 overall now, so he should be pretty good. Well, round one against the Sixers, who swept us a few years back. And we're in a game seven. Uh, I can't give any less minutes to LeBron. I, I don't control anything. Wow, we won. We beat the Sixers after all these years. Well, it was only one year actually and Jester shot 5 for 14 in game 7 that's a good look second round against Atlanta and oh my god we 4-0 sweep them now against the Pistons in the conference finals and we're up 3-1 to one. we are in the NBA finals as the 7th seed and the Kings were the 6th seed so this is pretty even and Mitchell Robinson oh god it's Mikey Williams first game is a uh, pretty easy win hey they want to give more minutes to Jester can you guys go do that please okay cool thank you and we lost the second game probably should have gave more minutes to Jester third game we win game 3 convincingly you know cool words jester had 28 points on 9 for 11 shooting fourth game in chicago the windy city the home of uh kanye west common and um chief keef well we lost game four game five. Oh god this is this is gonna come down the wire isn't it it's 110 109 we gotta watch this right this is like series defining whoever wins this has the advantage jester with the ball screen from marketing jester going right Jesser layup and it's good. Jesser the laser potentially saving the finals for the of uh, the Chicago Bulls. I can't speak. Sorry, it's a pretty big moment. So I'm choking, of course, in my speech. 16 seconds left. Williams with the ball on Kobe White. Three seconds. Two, one, Mikey. Wow, his jump shot is disgusting. Hey, that's a win. I would have never thought the guy that's been torturing leagues for the past however many videos has got a jump shot like that. Well, we got a three to two lead. After all that, if we lose the, if we lose this series, I'm gonna be disappointed. Game six in Chicago. It's gonna be another close one for the potential championship on the Chicago floor. Oh wait, why am I controlling the team? Don't do that, please. No, I'm not trying to rig this. I'm sorry. Kobe, oh no, he got blocked. Oh God, Mikey Williams has the ball. Mikey on Julius Randle, this can't be good. Oh no, 27 seconds left. Are they gonna sub back in the guy who, you know, hit the game winner for them last game? Literally like, what, two days ago probably? And, and why do I care about the days? Oh yeah, that, that's a pretty good stat line, huh? 23 seconds left. It doesn't look like Jester's gonna get it. What? They just stuffed him in the corner. Bronny in the post, he's getting double teamed. Bronny down to Wendell. Wendell, he sold Lori. Oh my God, he hits the first. He hits the second. Tied game 130 130 no timeouts left for either team mikey williams with the ball seven seconds over the corner cash to stanley mitchell robinson mikey again mikey pull up three and we're going ot i just went full speed simulation for absolutely no reason just come fully subconsciously and uh well we lost by one well looks like we're going to game seven in uh, this place called sacramento does sacramento even exist i think i've said that before 
Yo, we have the ball with six seconds left to potentially tie the game. We have the ball with six seconds left to potentially tie the game in game seven. Oh, uh, where's the fifth? Oh, there goes Mikey. Six seconds. We need a three. Kobe in the corner, and it was fully contested. Oh, great shot, guys. Great. All right, uh, I, I don't want to see this. Can I pause out of this, please? I, I don't want to I don't want to be tortured. You know, it feels kind of weird watching this one. Uh, you're not the team celebrating. Well, Jesser tried. You know, he played pretty well. But that's uh, our first finals loss. Hopefully, we don't get multiple of those, because that wouldn't be fun. Well, I guess it kind of would. Here's a look at his playoff stats. He led the team in points. Joe Harris retired. Jess is an 87 overall. 26 years old, going to season number six. He's got a Hall of Fame clutch shooter now. Didn't I give him another badge? Did he like lose it? Am I tripping? Yeah, I gave him Hall of Fame Space Creator. I just remembered it and it's just gone. Okay, great. Great job. You're regressing in year number six. Not really though. I guess he just, I don't know, redeveloped himself. Who the hell knows? I guess two Hall of Fame badges is better than one anyways. He's still starting. The All-Star Captain's announced. Can Jesser make an All-Star team? No, still no. Uh, okay, it looks like he, he's the third best player right now. I mean, it's whatever. And that same exact rotation of players almost won a championship. You know, if, you, if you're still here at this point in the video, can you like like the video because you know it helps out the channel i'm not a cornball i'm not gonna tell you to smash the like button and break your phone but you know you can do that Cade cunningham won mvp Corey cousins most improved player well i mean i guess he averaged 10 assists good good for him breaking news he didn't make an all nba team and we're the fifth seed we won 45 games i think for the second year in a row maybe he averaged 19 points 51 percent from the field good enough for me as long as we're a good team which uh right now we're kind of middle of the pack so uh, hopefully we can win this first round series please cool great second round up against detroit and oh god we're down 3-1 3-0 and we lost 4-0 he didn't really choke. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was going to say he really didn't choke. Never mind. He shot 27% for three. That's kind of a choke. The Pistons have Cade Cunningham and Imani Bates. Oh, yeah. We're never making that at least again. Yeah, they won the championship. The black belt himself, James Johnson, retired. Just an 89. We have three 90s, an 89, 88, 87. So, um, yeah, we should make the, you know, like win a championship soon, please. 27 years old, going to year number seven. Okay, for some reason, we forgot how to lose basketball games. Still no all star. When the hell did we get Nico Mannion? Oh, did we trade? Oh, my God. We traded somebody we traded marketing for nico Mannion. well uh, that's cool the best ginger player in nba history even though he's not even in the nba yet he's definitely already that i'm probably lying can we get the 50 wins oh well that was easy what about 60 is that possible oh we did it we got 60 wins k cunningham mvp oh he's on the thunder yo he left well that opens things up and we got the coach of the year my 2k14 my player yes that is our coach no all nba players from this whole team even though we had 60 wins but that's usually how it works yeah we've just got a cool 390 overalls in the starting lineup two off the bench. Jesser averaged a cool 20 points, 4 assists, 50% from the field, which led this incredibly stacked team in scoring, just to, you know, let you know. First round against Orlando. This is probably the time where we blow uh, the season and lose in the first round. Wow, I was actually completely kidding, and then we almost just did that, which we might still do. Okay, cool. We, we didn't do that. Second round against Atlanta, and why is it 2-2 two to two again? Okay, we're in another game 7. This is fun. Ah, yes, we won another game 7 as well. Jesser, uh, well, I wouldn't say carried, but, you know, he, he played up to uh, standards. Alright, third round against the Sixers. They used to be pretty good back in the day oh god don't tell me it's gonna be another game seven it's another game seven for god's sake like 26 games in the playoffs already and we're not even out of the east yet and this is a very close game we're down by two points with 39 seconds left yes there isn't in right now but he's not really doing anything this game so i can't really blame him plus we have 86 90 overalls levine pull up and they should put jesser in probably that'd be a good idea josh richardson still in sixes i feel like this team shouldn't be together still like eight years in advance well we're down by four points now with 26 seconds i uh, very much doubt that we're gonna win this game now which is very sad considering that we would have went to the nba final finals with like six more points it's kind of crazy to think of it that way they have bowl bowl too i completely forgot about that oh jesser pull up mid-range shot okay there we go we have some hope maybe i wasn't really sure how he'd perform as a six foot three small forward but he's uh he's done pretty well i think oh foul ben foul ben wait 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 so we have a chance they're giving it to jesser for the iso kobe white with the ball and Kobe just turned the ball over. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, it's, that's it. And now, even if he misses this one, we can't get the ball up in 4.3 seconds. Okay, well, he did miss. Um, Hold on. We have... Th oh, pass the ball. Please pass the ball. Oh, my God. Kobe, I hate you. Oh, wow. We lost in Game 7. Um, We're not shouting out the Sixers. They've won way too many rings. And they just beat us in Game 7. Kevin Love would retire with the Wizards. Dwayne Dedman retired. I've been sitting here for like three minutes trying to figure out who else left. Because I know Zach Levine left. He was a 90 overall. And then we had another one who was also not here that I can't remember. Maybe it was when 
Wendell Carter? Yeah, it's probably Wendell. He's not here either. But according to my calculations, that means we've lost a lot of 90 overall. So uh, that's not that good. Now on to season number whatever. Season number eight to be exact. If we're starting Julius Randle. We'll def we're definitely not winning more than four games. Oh, uh, I guess I was wrong. Is Jesser going to finally be an all-star? The answer, uh, well, uh, no, he's still not here. Oh, they don't even want to start Jesser anymore. That that's just great. Instills a lot of confidence in him, probably, right? I mean, he's averaging 21 a game. Why the hell wouldn't you want to start him? Oh, never mind. It's only been four games. He'll probably be back in the starting lineup anytime soon. It's just load management. This Kate Cunningham guy is pretty good. Actually, I did a whole career sim on him, so I can't even act like I don't know who he is. Sergi Kursov, rookie of the year. Sure, why not? Ah, yes, Troy Young, sixth man of the year. Still know all anything. And we're the third seed. Now, look, here's the thing, right? He's second on the team in scoring. He's really good. He could even have his own team and still be kind of solid, you know, make the playoffs and stuff like that. But if we're going to sacrifice touches and potentially a Hall of Fame selection, then can we at least win a championship? All right, well, we got past one round and we lose in the second round. Jesus. Shout out to the Spurs. Oh, yeah, Giannis hasn't won a ring yet. There he goes. His playoff stats were cool. Just kind of, you know, normal as to what he's been doing for however many years. He's kind of like CJ McCollum. Shabazz Napier retired. LeBron once told the Heat that he would stay there if they drafted this guy, and then they did, and he left. Or maybe it was just false hope by the franchise. Who the hell knows? I didn't really talk to LeBron on that day, you know? Don't think I'm in his contacts. Probably didn't even have a phone when that happened. Jess is a 92. He's only got one more year left in his contract, and we're going into year number nine. Will he ever make an all-star team? Oh, they got team Carl Anthony. Jess or the laser? One time all-star finally granted i didn't really expect him to make the team even this year but he did it wait did i see cj mccollum leading the league in <laughs> He's leading the G League in points. Why the hell is he in the G League? He's 37, bro. Hang it up. Oh, maybe it's because Jesser. Oh, it's a contract year. He knew what to do. He genuinely saw it was a contract year and put up his best. I, I didn't even think he was capable of this. I mean, 54% shooting, like 27 points per game, and you're six foot three. Uh, go off, King. Never saying that again. Is Jesser going to re-sign the contract extension deadline just passed? Nope. He's trying to get up the up and out of here. Ah, uh, there goes Mikey Williams. Got his MVP. I wonder who Trey Young is behind. Jesser the lead are all NBA second team. 25 a game. Yeah, that's kind of what happens when you're really, really good at scoring. And with the second seed up against Washington, and that was an easy 4-0 sweep. Oh yeah, I want to check who Trae Young was behind. Oh, he's behind Cole Anthony, even though he's a 98 overall. What the hell is the logic in that? Oh yeah, I'm in the prime of my career, 98 overall. I'll just, you know, just come off the bench. And we're down 3-1. to one. Why did I simcast this? We're definitely not coming back from 3-1, to one, are we? Well, we won that one. Oh, we were close. Yeah, no, we lost the next game. So uh, we didn't come back from 3-1. to one. Newsflash. Tim Rules on a ring. Shout out to Anthony Edwards, who was the first pick in Jess's draft. Otto Porter retired. I wonder why the Bulls aren't offering 62 overall Elton Patrick the qualifying offer. Oh, Jess re-signed with the Bulls on a five-year $290 million deal, which is like, what, $100 million more than he got last time? So he's going to be here until he's 35 unless he gets traded. On to season number 10. Jess is a two-time All-Star this time. Well, he's still off the bench. Why am I saying this time? James Wiseman got an MVP. Didn't they have Kay Cunningham on the Thunder too? Oh god, that's a scary team if he's, if he's still there. Rookie of the year is Herbert. Trey's got six man of the year on lock for at least another 10 years. Billy Donovan. I have nothing significant to say. Just Billy Donovan. Jesser the laser, all NBA third team with Bronny by his side. Average is cool, you know, 24, 4, 4. He's really not versatile at all. He only has, what, 12 double doubles in his whole career. So, uh, yeah. But I mean, he's, he gets buckets. First round against Boston, easy 4 0. Second round against Orlando, easy 4 0. And third round against a team that's benching Trey Young. And we're up 3 to 1. And oh, God. The NBA Finals once again against our new found rivals the sacramento kings this is mikey williams with an mvp under his belt and they got marvin bagley mccurr maker mitch robinson's gone who i mean i guess they got all these other centers it's not like it really matters we won game one jesser dropped a cool 38 and we lost game two I, I think yeah there you go okay it looks like we are gonna win game three jesser dropped 34 so he's basically carrying at this point kind of not really but maybe and it looks like we're gonna win the next game as well oh god we might choke uh, okay good we, we didn't choke we closed it out so um and uh brownie and jess are a pretty good duo which means that we are up three to one if we blow a three to one lead i'm officially donning jesser the biggest choke artist of all these guys all right lose one game you could lose one game by 22 points but no more all right we're gonna watch the end of this he has 31 points and is not fouled out yet so we should be back and he's tending time soon and julius randall gets open for the dunk that's that's promising i mean we're tied 114 we could win a championship right now you know marvin bagley's in the post on kobe white that's not good um please don't oh my god that guy uh, 
uh, I forgot his name, but it not like really matters. Just a tall white auto generated guy. Bronny for three. Oh no. McCurd down to Marvin Bagley. Oh no. Kobe is wide open for three. Kobe, please. No. Eric Paschal. Please don't let Eric Paschal score. Oh my God. Why did you foul him? Oh, Kobe is open for three. Kobe, please don't. You choked. You absolutely choked. If we lose this, forget Jess. I, I, I forgive you. It's on Kobe. It's completely on Kobe. Uh, game seven in Chicago. We might just do it. We have done it. Jess has got it. We're going to put up a three at the last second so they don't foul. And we won the NBA finals. We finally beat Mikey Williams. Jesser got the finals MVP. Why is that guy so tall? Jesser the laser got his first championship with 27 points on 10 for 19 shooting. We beat the Sacramento Kings and he's the finals MVP averaging 29 points, 54% from the field, 40 from downtown. And his playoff numbers follow about that same exact thing. Him and Bronny somehow average the exact same. Burkhan Korkma is retired. He's a 93 overall going to season number 11, 31 years old. Are we going to repeat is now the question. Jess of the laser, three-time all-star off the bench still. Hey, Cade, Bo Bowl still the sixth man of the year. Jesser is on the All-NBA third team again. Numbers were about the same. And we're the, we're the seventh seed. Okay, that, that's a great way to bounce back from winning a championship. Well, we made it out of the first round somehow. I was busy we were playing the Cavs, and then we lost to the Hornets. I mean, our sixth man is Emmanuel Moutier. Where the hell did Nico Mannion go? I forgot he even was here. Yeah, Jesser tried in the playoffs. He even stepped it up. Jonathan Kuninga, finals MVP. And of course, it's the team that beat us. Doug McDermott retired. And Jesser just went down two overalls. He's regressing. Yep, 32 years old. Year number 12 coming up. Still off the bench. Four-time All-Star. Jesser's probably going to have like the best old man game out of all these people, aren't? isn't he, huh? You know what Mikey Williams doesn't have? A championship. Oh, never mind. Yes, he does. Wait, wait. Skip Day? What the hell kind of name is this? Why is this even in the system to allow a name like this to just occur? Jesser's kind of the consistent All-NBA third team guy at this point. And we're the seventh seed against Charlotte. And oh god, are we going to lose to the Hornets again? Yep, we did exactly that. Yeah, they got a Kuninga, RJ Barrett, whoever the hell, Andor du Dugan. Yeah, I'm good. Jesser, he kind of sold in the playoffs, but we won't mention it. You know, he got a championship. That's all that really matters. Well, I guess we kind of want more then. Giannis got a finals MVP again. Jabari Parker, for some reason, was 16 years pro. I'm surprised he made it past six. I used to be a big Jabari Parker fan too, but um, what, what the hell? Like, no NBA team wants to give this man a chance. So I'm assuming something has to be wrong there. I mean, I guess it's his defense, but like, yeah, no, I got nothing. Jesser went down another overall. Even Bronny's regressing. He's at he's 28. And uh, it looks like the team got a lot worse. Did Kobe White leave this year or last year or something? I don't know where the hell he went, but yeah. On to year number 13. Jesser the laser, five-time all-star. Oh, there goes this Luka guy. I feel like we haven't seen him ever. Yeah, somehow he won his first MVP, like, what, 13 years in? Ekpe Udo? What? This couldn't even be his son, because it's not even a junior. He, he just, he's just Ekpe Udo. Why would you, why would there ever be a second person named this? Well, Bronny made the first team, and Jesser got dubbed of every single team. So, uh, yeah, I guess Bronny kind of took over this year. But considering that, um, well, we, we didn't really win any games. We missed the playoffs. Oh, Jesser still have his 25. He probably should have made it. Shout out to RJ Hampton. Julia Okafor retired. Imagine we get the first pick in the lottery after all these years. Yeah, no, we didn't. We drafted a guy named Brett. He definitely won't have any impact. And Jesser went down another two overalls. He's going into year number 14. And he's got one more year left on a contract, which, by the way, he's making $66 million. Jess is a six-time All-Star, but uh, he's never going to crack the starters, it doesn't look like. But um, we're not going to make those playoff things. When I say things, like it was plural. Mikey Williams, how are you doing? These guys are standing in the same exact stance. It's kind of weird. Jesser is no longer making these All-NBA teams. And we missed the playoffs, like I, uh, you know, told you a couple seconds ago, I think. Yeah, you know, he's still averaging the Jesser numbers, basically. Thank God we put him with the small forward a couple years back, because uh, Bronny and him, they, they never separated. Larry Park won finals MVP with the Bucks. Guess he's the new Giannis or something like that. Oh no, our sixth man, Emmanuel Moutier, retired. What shall we do? It's really sad how our sixth man went from Zach Levine to Emmanuel Moutier. Oh, he re-signed three years, $132 million. Didn't really expect him to leave at this point. 35 years old, going to year number 15, and of course, regressing still, because that's kind of what happens when you're old and your bones deteriorate. Vince Carter could give you a whole audiobook on that. Rock Jovanovich. This guy looks like six-year-old Kristaps Porzingis with the cornrows. Yeah, Jess is not making an All-NBA team anymore, but we're the seventh seed. His numbers are still good for like his age. You know, he's 36 and he's averaging 19 a game and still efficient while doing it. First round against Detroit and uh, that didn't go well. We lost 4-2. I mean, his old man playoff numbers, Jesus, he still, he shot 64% from the field. Zion
Zion's on the Trailblazers, because why the hell not? Trey Lyles retired. Shout out to uh, the Denver Nuggets. No, no, shout out to the Jazz for trading him for Donovan Mitchell. What did the Nuggets really see in Trey Lyles when they took that deal? And just an 84, going into year number 16. He's 36. He's no longer starting, because they're favoring the youth, I guess. I mean, the team's not that good anyways. He'll probably end up starting again in like two weeks anyways. Is he still an all-star? Well, uh, no. Actually, I just realized he really had made the all-star all the way up until this point, huh? Like, what? what is it? He's 30. He was 36 years old making the all-star team still. Rumor, the Bulls are trying to gauge how much interest teams have in acquiring Jess of the Laser. Oh, God. He survived the trade deadline. Why is this guy's eyes like that? Yeah, Jess is averaging 16. I mean, that's still good. He's 37 years old, for God's sake. But we won 29 games. So uh, that, that uh, in case you don't know, doesn't equal playoffs. Oh, God. The Kings want to ring. I mean, we, uh, we won the rivalry at the end of the day. Lori Markin and retired. And Jesser is... Okay, cool. He's still here, but he's an 80 overall. He's making 46 million as an 80 overall. 37 years old, going to year number 17. Lonzo's here just chilling. Why is there another Udo? Why does Tommy Swift look so mad? When I said Brett Turner would never have an impact, well, he's better than Jesser now. Then again, Jess is almost like turned to dust at this point. Why am I still looking at the all-star teams? I always do this. Luke Walton will never win a coach of the year. Future's son is here. Jesser still averaged 14 points. And of course, we didn't make playoffs. We only won 30 games. Dusty Beasley. I felt didn't we already see a guy named Dusty in one of these videos? And that is officially it. After 17 years pro, Jesser the Laser has retired from the NBA. I almost miss him, honestly, because he's like really deep into this list. I was about to announce Lonzo. But Jesser calls it quits after averaging 20.2 points, 3.7 rebounds, assists, 49% from the field, 43 from three. At 20 double doubles, one triple double, actually. It's probably later in his career. Yeah, wow. He had a career high of 55 points, made 10 threes in a game, 16 rebounds, 16 assists as well, eight steals, six blocks. That's a, that's a lot. He's wow. He's more well-rounded than I thought. He finishes with the 42nd most points ever. Just a couple, like about a hundred shy of Carmelo Anthony and more than Stephen Curry. 44th field goals, 38th and threes. He finished off as a one-time champion, six-time all-star, one-time second team all-NBA, three-time third team, and obviously the one-time all-rookie. He still had the volume shooter hall of fame badge and he was retiring. That man was chucking him. And uh, I think that's it. Almost forgot to mention that his number from the Bulls, number nine, did get retired. I mean, he did spend his whole career there. He was pissed off with the lack of team success, so he had to get up and out of there. And I think that's it. Now, uh, is he going to make the Hall of Fame? He's got a pretty fringe career here. I don't know if he's gonna... Let's just see. He actually did it. He made the Hall of Fame. Kind of surprised, because considering how the first, like, what, eight, nine or so years of his career came out, where, like, he wasn't really getting many touches, he, uh, he prevailed in the end. Ends off with a pretty perfect career, as perfect as I could really imagine. He got a ring, a bunch of all-star appearances, all-NBA appearances, Hall of Fame. Good enough, at least. So that's all I got. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all. We're about to hit 5,000 subscribers as I'm recording this, hopefully soon, which is wild because I was just thanking you guys for 3,000 in the last video. So seriously, thank you for all that. So yeah, um, let me know who you want to see next, and I'm out of here. Cut.